Hey guys, I'm the Burke and I do things. In today's video, it's gonna be a little bit of everything. Honestly, I have some new makeup here. I haven't sat down, I feel like I'm playing with new makeup in a while. I've tested out a few of these items, so I have like my initial thoughts, but I've only used them each once. A couple of these are brand new. Some of these are really throwback items. I do have one like comparison product to try out. I have this new pack of brushes I received from Moda. This is their Pro Purple Complete Wrap. It looks like it has five face, no, six face brushes and six eye brushes. I really love Moda. I am an affiliate with Moda. It's the actual, I think this is the only company that I'm an affiliate with, but I do really enjoy Moda brushes. I got to meet the team back in 2019, back when I went to Ipsy Creator Day. So I, I always love when they send me new brush packs to try out because they're such great quality at a drugstore price. I think you can find them definitely at Walmart. I do have an affiliate code. I believe it's just the Burke. It does save you 10% off your purchase on their website. And I do believe like you can stack, like if they have like a sale, you can use an affiliate code on top of the sale and save even more money, which is really awesome because they're already affordable to begin with. If you wanna try out these brushes, some makeup. And then I just wanna like chat about, you know, life because a lot's been going on. We had a really bad experience with the vacation and I feel like I haven't actually like sat down and explained like what the heck happened. I just kind of like said like the house wasn't great, but it was a lot more than that. And then, you know, it's been a little bit stressful around here besides the fact that, you know, Having a baby is a lot of stress. Scott's paternity leave is ending and we kind of don't know what our plan is going forward. Like it's it's just been a little bit stressful I feel like lately. If that sounds like something you guys are interested in watching while well, I drink my coffee because Phoebe has fully decided that 5.30 is our wake up time every day and I don't know what we're gonna do about daylight savings. Then keep on watching. Let's go. So I just opened the brush roll and I thought it'd be nice to show you what the actual roll looks like. It's really nice feeling. I actually don't have a brush roll that I actually feel like is like decent quality, but this one feels pretty nice. It has enough little spaces for all your brushes and then you can protect them in there. This is definitely something I feel like I will use in the future because I always just like shove all my brushes aggressively into a bag. When I think it would be better to use something like this. I also did want to shout out the SPF I'm wearing today is the Milani SPF BFF. This is currently on sale in the Ulta like fall haul sale event. And I wanted to let you guys know because this was in my one and only favorites video I've done so far in 2021. I really considered buying a backup, but like I'm trying not to do that. So yeah, but I mean, this is actually what my face looks like with just the Milani SPF on. It's like, it's pretty glowy. And I do, I do want to say there's a bit of tack to it. I am actually going in with a different primer to show you guys today, but this is what it looks like with just the SPF. And it is a chemical SPF. It does not have any mineral ingredients in it. Okay, so I'm filming this on Friday morning. Scott has a baby and I believe next Friday is technically his first day back like working, so. T minus one week, did three months really fly. Okay, so the first product I did buy from Ulta and this is the Pixi Vitamin C Brightening Perfector. I actually bought this, <laughs> I don't remember how long ago, many months ago. One of Ashley Clady's recommendations. I have only tried this once. I tried this yesterday. It is very, it is nothing like what I expected. I definitely think it is something where you need more <laughs> than you thought you were gonna need because it, it's not very like spready, I guess is what I wanna say. It doesn't spread super well. So like a little does not go a long way in my opinion with this. Like it's kind of thick and tacky and I feel like you really need to blend it in quickly. However, I will say when I wore this yesterday, I did feel like my skin texture looked really good under my foundation. And I do assume that it has to do with this primer. Like you saw how white it was when I started, like it does really blend into the skin. I don't know if I would say brightening is the word I would use, but it definitely like does kind of settle into everything, so to speak. In my project pan, I do have this hourglass, like teeny tiny sample of their foundation. I've been using this for spot concealing because I don't really like it as a foundation. So I currently have that much left. And then the new concealer I'll be using today is from Dose of Colors. This is the Meet Your Who concealer. I got this in an Ipsy bag and I'm not sure I understand what's going on with Dose of Colors. Like I tried to find this on like Ulta and I couldn't. I have this in 03 Fair. It's a little light for me right now. So I'm gonna have to mix another concealer, but I used this yesterday and I thought it wore really, really well and it didn't really crease once I had set it. So, so far I've been impressed and I'm just going in with a little bit of the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Hydrate. 
just because it's a little bit darker and the two blended together should be good. And I will be using my, <laughs> ding, <laughs> I'm using my Eco Tools Bio Blender today. So I don't even know how to really go into what happened when we went to the beach, but essentially we had picked this place. It must have been late spring we we found this place and it was it, we were kind of on a time crunch because we we booked we definitely started looking for places way too late in the season and everything was you know not available and we were already having to look in September for a place and you know this this worked out because it was gonna be like during Scott's birthday and you know this this place we found it was like it was like a little condo it was two bedrooms two full bathrooms like there was more than enough space for the three of us plus the main bedroom the next bedroom had a full crib and a changing table so like it really checked a lot of boxes and there is one mistake we kind of made when we were booking i totally blame us for this so we kind of were looking for something that was you know close to the beach and boardwalk so we wouldn't have to like drive a bunch of places somewhere that was you know kid friendly so it had the crib and everything i wanted you know a full kitchen because i had to make her food and everything and i wanted to make sure the place had like a washer and a dryer and it had all of that pause for the next product um i've only tried this one so far the wet n wild tinted hydrator i bought this in the shade uh, where's the shade name light medium this is pretty good for self tan me I tried to throw on a tiny bit of tan there today and we're like very much in the middle. This I feel like would look really good mixed with my Fenty Easter drop because that one's very light. I feel like mixed together these would be great, but for right now I'm just gonna go in with this. So what we kind of messed up on is the place did not have parking, which <sighs> we went to Ocean City, New Jersey, and that isn't really something I've ever experienced in Ocean City, New Jersey. Like usually the houses there have like a little area behind in an alleyway to park your car so i guess i wasn't even thinking like oh does this place have parking and you know it didn't so what i did yesterday was i blended it out with a brush and it feel it felt a little streaky but once i had it blended with a brush i went over it with a sponge and i feel like it it then sat down really well so i'm going to do that again today i'm going to go in with the bmx 180 i actually do own this with a black handle and it's one of my favorite foundation brushes so i'm excited to use it today the problem was the alleyway behind did not of this house did not have an actual like way to get into this place you could only get to this place from the front of the house but you could not get to the front of the house from the alley you literally need to go onto the road in front it's very hard to explain this if you're not familiar with ocean city but basically like the the road in front was like a main road where you had to like park at a meter and it was like a really busy area and it was very scary because like we had a roof rack and i was like how are we gonna just like unload this car with a roof rack in like a busy area like a roof rack isn't like a secure thing like someone could just come and steal or so I don't know it was very scary and very stressful and we'd already had Phoebe in the car for two hours and it was getting close to dinner time and I was like how are we gonna get this car unloaded and this place set up for bedtime and dinner time and everything and like it was it was not going well but you know we had gotten an email from the the owner of the property that was like when you get there this is everything you need to do if you have any questions here's my number call or text me and scott tried calling him and he got this weird voicemail that was like it was basically saying like you're calling me from your cell phone send me a text I was like, okay and i <laughs> and scott was driving around trying to figure out where to park the car to be able to unload a full car of stuff so i texted this guy i should honestly read you the text because it it's bad it's pretty bad yeah okay so this was at 4 24 i think our check-in was at four so I said, hi, I'm trying to unload at the property and cannot figure out where to stop the car. We went through the alley, but I don't see where you can pull over and not block any traffic. And six minutes later, he wrote back, bright orange building, can't miss it. Go up the street and turn onto the street. And I'm gonna like <laughs> dox the place. And he basically said where to go. And I said, we saw that. How do we park there to unload? Because there were other spots on this block where you could pull over. And where our house was, there wasn't a spot where you could even pull over. Like you could literally only stop in the middle of the alleyway and like then no cars could get by. And then he just, he basically repeated, pull into the alleyway and then, and I was like, whatever. So by an hour later, I was able to say, we were able to unload from the front street and we're looking for a place to permanently park the car for the rest of our trip because there's only so many like free parking areas, whatever. And in his initial email, he had said, you know, look around and see if there's any issues that you need addressed. Well, guess what? There was at least one issue right off the bat. 
right off the bat, like I wasn't even fully aware of how many things were weird and different at this point because I was like dealing with like watching Phoebe while Scott was unloading and I was trying to like move things to where they needed to go. By 528, so I had texted him at 526 that we were in. At 528 I said, there was urine in the front bathroom in the toilet. Um, yeah, there was a toilet full of pee. Tell me how confident you would feel about the, the way the house was cleaned if that was one of the first things you found. Pause. Pause for a makeup break. <laughs> so, this is something I've been excited to try. I got the Makeup Revolution Eye Brightener in the shade, is it caramel? This is supposed to be a dupe for this Charlotte Tilbury wand. My Charlotte Tilbury wand is, I have, let's put it this way, I haven't used it because I knew I wanted to film this video because I wasn't positive <laughs> that I would be able to have any left for this video. So it is like a floofy little ball, just like just like this. I wanna kinda of get some of the product into the ball before we start. But I'm gonna put one on each side and kind of blend them out and see how they look in comparison. Yeah, but this Charlotte Tilbury one has like almost nothing left and I really don't wanna pay $40 for a new one as much as I love it. God, I'm trying here. It looks like the product's coming out on this one. Okay, I'm gonna try to get the Charlotte Tilbury out first. I'm gonna do, okay, Charlotte on this side. I'm just gonna do a little. And then I'm gonna put the Makeup Revolution on this side. Let's it's there we're just <laughs> just trying to get it out so, all right come on you can see like just putting it on like this like the color doesn't look similar at all but I will say this blends out a lot more than than it appears right there so I'm just gonna use this brush and blend it and then come over here I will say like the finish definitely looks very similar, but I don't think the colors are a match. And that's what I'm confused about is like, everyone was raving that the colors were such a match, but this side to me looks very cool tone and this side to me looks very warm tone. I don't hate it. And I would definitely use this as a replacement for this, but I just want to match them up a little right now. Cause I don't think they look the same. I very clearly was not happy that there was urine in the toilet, but there was just so much going on. Like I was so overwhelmed and so stressed with everything going on that I just felt like that is not something I could focus on. And we were running around trying to get everything like unpacked and like set up because Phoebe had to eat dinner and go to bed. Like we had originally planned that if our check-in was at four that we'd have time to go to the boardwalk and everything. And just like that plan did not happen. I'm using the Ilya multi-stick. So it just, it was like a very big letdown. And by the time, we got Phoebe down. We were just like kind of looking at the listing pictures and just like looking around and it seemed like the setup was very similar, but I would say 70% of this furniture was completely different. Like some of it was the same, but some of it was so different. Like it was a completely different crib. There was no changing table. Random closet doors had been taken off. There was this, cr you know, I can link the video where you can see some of the crazy stuff like the bunk bed was not the bunk bed that was in the picture. Like it was stuff like that. Like why would you have gone through the effort? Like this was a second floor condo. You had to walk up a giant flight of steps to get to this. Why would you have changed a bunk bed? Like it just, little things like that weren't adding up. And when I had kind of looked back at the reviews, cause this place was 4.5 stars on Verbo. I could tell that reviews from over the summer were not as good as reviews from when we had booked. I'm gonna try this. I also got this in Ipsy. This is the Dominique Cosmetics Skin Gloss in the shade Golden Dew. I'm just gonna go in with my finger. Does that look different than this one? I can't tell if it's like too dark for my skin. Hmm. It looks okay. I'm not overly impressed. I'm very sorry if this feels all over the place because of the makeup and the story. All right, I'm finally gonna try this the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder in Light Catcher other light catcher in the shade Celestial Light. I was gifted this from Influencer and I kept meaning to try it and I still haven't, so we'll try it right now. And I'm gonna go on with the BMX 265 brush. This is a highlighter brush, but we will use it right now for setting under our eyes. So we started realizing like little things were different and it just, it was giving me a weird vibe. And at this point I realized in the, in the pictures online, like. It was set up to look like a hotel. Like there were towels out and everything. And I was like, wait a minute. I still haven't even seen any towels out. Like what the heck is going on? This looks dark. What the heck? I think this is supposed to be the lightest shade, but 
I don't know if you can tell, it looks pretty dark. I'm very nervous to put this under my eyes. Just gonna tap out the concealer. Oh, wow. Can you see how much darker it made this side than that side? <gasps> mm, I did not like that. Is this supposed to be like an all over face setting powder? Maybe I have to use it like that. I to set the other eye to match it, but I'm not, I'm not thrilled right now with this, with this shade. So anyway, I realized I don't know where the towels are. Like we had brought a couple like beach towels and like I brought some dish towels, but because of the way the pictures were, I didn't bring like bath towels or anything like that. So at 7.51, I texted, where are the towels located? Still no response. No response since they basically were telling us how to unpack. So they were very responsive when we were asking like, how do we get in your house? But as soon as it was like questions and issues, dead silent, dead silent. And I was like, whatever. I wound up finding them in like this, them all in this random closet in the bedroom where Phoebe was sleeping. So I was not happy about that. We were just in a really big funk. I mean, you can see the funk we're in if you watch the vlog, but it just felt like everything was going really weird. I feel like my face is way too dark right now. Yeah, I definitely need to mix that foundation. I'm nervous to set my face now with this powder because of how dark it is, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna go in with this. This is their flat powder brush the BMX 175. I've never tried this specific brush before, so I'm excited to try it out and set the face. I'm definitely not going in with a lot because I really don't like to overly powder. Okay, so what do we think? This one is set, this one's not. I mean, I like that it doesn't look overly matte like the regular Laura Mercier powder would look, so I guess that's good. Anyway, so the next morning we wake up and we kind of just try to like make the best of our vacation. We go to the boardwalk, we're like feeling great, and we know that afternoon that we're going to go to the beach and we're just, we're gonna make the best. We're not there long. We got there on Wednesday night. We're leaving Saturday morning. It was supposed to be just like two full days there. Well, around 11 o'clock, I text Scott, why does it look like the refrigerator is peeing all over the floor? Because it was. The refrigerator was completely leaking. And I was like, this means we actually have to contact them because their refrigerator is broken. Great. So at 11.30, I say, the fridge and freezer temperatures appear, actually Scott took my phone and said, texted this, the fridge and freezer temperatures appear to be lowering. The unit still has power, but the freezer is leaking from ice melting and the temperature settings are and have been both nine out of nine on the coldest since we arrived. And I'm freaking out because if you have followed my formula journey, there was no formula anywhere for a while and my parents had to drive really far to find us formula for Phoebe. I contacted Similac. Similac was saying that they were having issues with their distributors and that they like, they were aware of the problem and they, there just wasn't formula. I have a Maybelline brow pencil and the Benefit brow setter while I talk about this. So I'm freaking out because I have, I think four or five bottles of formula along with an open bottle of formula in the fridge. And I'm like, that can't go bad. It is like, you know, gold right now, the formula. I can't have a place with a broken fridge. And these people did not respond to Scott's text. So at 11.43, so 13 minutes later, I text them, we need to leave this house if the fridge is not fixed. We have our baby's formula in there and if it's not repaired, I will be contacting Verbo. Still no response. Then we proceed to Scott being on the phone with Verbo three different times throughout that day. Each conversation is about an hour long. Each conversation he's told completely different information. The first guy tried to get us a hotel to move to and I said, I said, if you're moving me out of this house, I have very specific like needs because I have a baby. Like you can't just put me in a random hotel room. He put us in a very random hotel room. I was like, I have a baby who goes to bed seven, 7.30. If I'm in a hotel room, what am I supposed to do in that hotel room if there's a baby sleeping for the night? Okay, there's no kitchen, which means no fridge and the fridge is the issue right now. Oh, it was very frustrating. And like, I understand it was last minute and like there weren't places available, but like, don't book me a hotel room that doesn't have what I need. Like, that's not helpful to me. I was also trying to explain to this guy, if I'm moving to a hotel room, I need to extend our vacation because the amount of effort it takes to pack up an entire car and roof rack, go to a hotel, unpack that, to then in the morning have to turn around and repack the car it makes zero sense. At this point, Scott and I are like, Scott wanted to leave then and there. And I was like, we can't, we can't, we can't, we can't just like leave. We gotta, we gotta stick through this a little longer for Phoebe. So at this point, 
he has to call back and because he had called the hotel because the guy had basically said that the place he rented was what we were looking for and he had to call the call verbal back and be like no this place doesn't work like we're not staying in this hotel so the next person is like whoa 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 you can't get a hotel even though they'd already booked us a hotel you can't get a hotel you need to send us pictures of how different the house listing is compared to the pictures online and scott the whole time is trying to explain like that's not really our issue right now like it's weird and it's shady but like that's not the issue and like no one was understanding and it was a very frustrating conversation again wound up sending lots of pictures of the weird stuff with like the different furniture like i think it's really weird that there was no changing table like yeah i didn't 100 percent need a changing table for phoebe but like if i had a really little infant and i was relying on that changing table being in the place like that's like a very weird thing to take away. I don't know. Everything was just so weird about the place. Pause again. I'm going to actually go in with my singles. I never use my singles slash wear eyeshadow, but I have all these ColourPop singles and I thought they were great for fall. So I'm going to use some ColourPop singles today. I don't know which ones yet, but I'll try to let you know when I finish the eye look. And I'm going to go in with some of these uh, eyeshadow brushes. So again, we're on the phone forever with this guy and we're not getting anywhere. <sighs> And at this point, like, we're going to the beach. We're taking Phoebe to the beach because Scott and I had already determined, like, this was our last night. We weren't going to stay for his birthday, which was the next day, and that we were just going to pack everything up while she was sleeping and leave in the morning. So at this point, he gets, like, some sort of... Oh, that was it. These Verbo people could not contact the property owner either. Like, they could not, like, do any of this, like, help for us without, like, trying to contact the owner first. And the shadiest thing is... The guy's information, like, on his listing, like, that phone number is not the same phone number he had had us texting. So, like, no one could reach him at either phone number. And this second guy Scott had talked to had basically said, you need to give the owner from this conversation an hour to get back to us before we make any, like, next moves. So Scott waits over an hour to call back. At this point, we were getting Phoebe ready for bed. And I think we were feeding her and about to get her ready for bed. <laughs> and... This time we had a woman we spoke to and she basically, I mean, it's crazy. Like everyone has to start over from the beginning, even though they have all the information in front of them. And I, at this point was just like freaking out. I was like, this is like a safety hazard. Like I specifically also chose a place not knowing if Phoebe would be crawling it. Fortunately for us, she was not crawling it, but the place I chose had very, very few furniture pieces. It had, it looked like it was like a very safe area where I wouldn't have to worry about baby proofing a lot of stuff. It wasn't like they had little kitschy stuff everywhere, but like it was very, very different in the listing. And I was like, this was a safety hazard for us. I was like, I don't care that that's not like a thing. <laughs> like I was like, I was like beyond the urine. I was like, it's a pandemic. What kind of like cleaner, if this place was actually cleaned, would leave a bathroom like that so i was paranoid the whole time that the place was dirty or that there was just like you know no i didn't think there was covid in the house but i was like if the place isn't properly clean there could be you know bacteria there could be a fungus like i was just like so grossed out i was like so scared to let phoebe touch anything and i was just like i was like there there's more to this than just like urine in the toilet, a broken fridge. I was like, it's so much stacking up at this point. I was like, we cannot comfortably stay here. And I was like, and no one can reach the owner of this house. Why can no one reach him the second something went wrong? It's not that we had the wrong number. He had no problem answering my texts when I was trying to find a place to park. It was once there was an actual problem, he went dark, literally. So this person was much more helpful, I would say, than the others. And I will say the conversation was forever. Uh, it, it felt like it was like way over an hour again on a third phone call, but she was basically like, we're gonna get you a refund. We're gonna get you a refund. There should be no issue. And like this person I feel like was very understanding compared to the two before. And like they kept repeating over and over again, are you sure you do not want us to move you to a hotel? And I said, yes, that would be way too much work <laughs> because we also did not have like a crib or anything because this place had a crib this place was also supposed to have a freaking high chair and the high chair was disgusting i'm glad we brought her booster seat which was like the high chair had clearly never been cleaned it literally had never been cleaned the entire thing was coated in disgusting and if you took the cover off the entire cover had just like crumbs of food behind it, it had literally never been cleaned which i don't i don't understand continuing on we were more than happy to get our booties out of there the next morning i felt so bad because okay 
I don't know about you, but I feel like this is way too shiny here. Like way too shiny. I need to actually like legitimately put a mattifying powder there because I feel like I'm like glistening. I'm just gonna go in with my Essence All About Matte Powder. Look how much is left. It's just like, it's a lot. <laughs> like look at how different <laughs> that looks automatically. We survived that night and then we got out of there as quickly as we could the next morning. We were on the road before 10 for sure. And then Scott got an email from Burbo that basically was someone saying like they compared the listing pictures to our pictures and that the pictures weren't different enough to justify a refund. Scott was driving the car as I read this email and I lost my absolute at this point. I don't have the Scott's phone on me to read my words, but it was a lot, something along the lines of how did you read the report? And from the report, because this was someone who was like reviewing our case, how from the report did you get that the issue that we had was that there was different furniture? It was that the place wasn't properly cleaned. The refrigerator was broken. No one could reach the owner. We had sent them pictures of the actual kitchen flooded. The kitchen was flooding. So no, the issue was not that the furniture was different. My camera's overheating. I'm gonna put on some eyeliner and then I'll be right back. <laughs> and we're back. Quick wrap up of what I used. So I used three mattes and one shimmer for my lids. I used Cloud9, Top Notch, Bel Air, and Pep Talk, which is the shimmer. I don't think I actually got ever bought Pep Talk. I think this was like one of the things they threw in an order for free when like they were slow at shipping, but I did buy the three mattes. I used the NYX Glitter Primer, a Clinique Quick Liner, and the Physician's Formula eyeliner. Now I'm going to go in with the two items I bought in the 21 days beauty sale. I decided to only buy the things that actually made me go, oh my god, it's in the sale, which was only two things. So I have the Nabla Skin Bronzing Bronzer in Umbra, which is the lightest shade. And then I bought the Wanderlust Blush in Seychelles. And honestly, I have used them once and I thought they were great the first time I used them. So that's great. I'm going to go in with this BMX 130 pointed blush brush with both. At this point, I am fuming and I finally take my mom's advice. My mom said, you need to like, you need to just like go on Twitter and like rant at them. So I was really pissed. So the first thing I did was I sent them a direct message and I said, are you a customer service representative? Here's my case, blah, 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 blah. And then I wrote a really angry Twitter message because I was just like livid at this point. Like in what world am I upset that the furniture was different? I was upset for a million other reasons. That was just something I thought was weird at this point. So someone gets back to me from customer service and says, you know, they reviewed my case and the person I had emailed had already read my email and had said back that they were going to, that they apologized, that they didn't realize. And I was like, what the heck do your case notes say that you did not realize that there was a flood in the freaking kitchen and that nobody could reach the owners of this property, but okay. <laughs> and that they had refunded us for that last night we didn't stay. And the customer service person from Twitter was like, we're so sorry about all of this. We're going to refund you your service fee for working with Verbo. The service fee alone was $87, which I don't think I realized that at the time. And I was like, it's a lot of money. So at this point we are refunded for one night and the service fee, I was like, whatever. I'm just like so irritated at this point. I'm gonna go in with the Becca highlighter in Moonstone. I am wondering what you guys think about Smashbox starting to sell the under eye corrector and the skin perfectors. It's just weird. I feel like of the two companies, I would expect Smashbox to be, to be going out of company and not Becca, so weird. So at this point, I'm just like weirded out and annoyed with this person. I'm going in with Urban Denight. Urban Denight, Urban Decay All Nighter. And he, all of his email correspondence from before this ever happened was coming from this company that was very clearly located in Washington, DC. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna look up this guy's name and his company. And guess what I found? Investigative journalism over here. I found some stuff. I'm gonna go in with the Hourglass uh, Ambient Lighting Powder here from last year's palette. I will say, I did not get one of the new palettes but every time I do my makeup, I do reach into this palette from last year. So it definitely was worth the investment. Anywho, not only 
Did I find this man who owned the property's Twitter? I also found some interesting threads on the internet about him. Let's start with his Twitter. He didn't have a lot of activity, but he did have two activities that stood out very much to me. The first one was a direct tweet to the CEO of Airbnb. I'm gonna go in with the original Sky High from Maybelline. I've only tried the waterproof and I used it up, so I'm excited to try the original. He basically wrote some very obnoxious message about, I, should I, should I direct quote it? Should I direct quote it? I feel like it doesn't get the same je ne sais quoi without direct quoting it. He added the CEO and said, I was booted from your platform due to a bad tenant. I have hosted over 9,000 bookings. In 2019, I was issued a $2.2 million 1099 that netted your platform $400,000 plus dollars. Please help. And then after the Airbnb person did not reply because he thought the CEO was gonna contact him directly, he wrote at Airbnb, you are thieves. I hope that your company burns, burns, burns. So let's start with, he was on Verbo because he was kicked off of Airbnb. And obviously if you're making 9,000 bookings, making $2 million in rental income, you must have a lot of properties and you probably don't really give a crap about a little individual dinky condo in Ocean City, New Jersey. Got it, got it, got it. Then, I found an entire TripAdvisor thread about this guy and about how all his properties in DC suck. How when people complain, he'll respond, well, what did you expect for $100 a night in DC? And how Verbo wouldn't help deal with him. So I wasn't crazy. I wasn't crazy. I wasn't making things up in my head. People wrote the listings didn't quite match what was in the pictures online. The furniture was changed. It was all very similar things to what Scott and I had experienced. All due to my ability to do investigating journalism. I got stuff on my nose. Right off the bat is working really well. I feel like it's better off the bat than the waterproof was. So I'm wondering how it'll perform over time. The last thing I wanna do is go in with something else I got from Ipsy. This is the Florence by Mills Glow Yeah Lip Oil in the shade, I have a shade name doesn't have a shade name. I don't know, maybe they only have one. It's kind of looking like, not like it would go with my outfit. So I'm hoping because it's lip oil, it'll be clear. Let's see. Hmm. I feel like I need some sort of a lip liner because I'm not really wearing a very light makeup day outfit. Let's see, let's pick a lip liner. Maybe this one. <laughs> Kylie Cosmetics Candy K, this one is Old AF. It's creamy, so I can just put a tiny bit on just to give my lips a little bit of color before I go in with this. This uh, lip oil though is very, like, it feels very thin and nourishing. I don't think I've ever tried anything from Florence by Mills before this, but I'm not hating it. Definitely haven't worn this much uh, makeup in a while, but I'm feeling the fall vibes. Really quick overview, I guess. My vacation sucked. Uh, Verbo was not helpful at all with customer service. So far we've uh, contested some of the charges through his credit card and that's how we're having to deal with it. It's weird though, because the vacation we went with my family in New York, we also rented through Verbo and did not have a bad experience. So I don't know, it was just, it was a very frustrating experience and I feel like we didn't really get what we wanted out of you know our vacation. It was supposed to be like the end of his trip. It was supposed to be his birthday trip. And you know, we wound up coming home not relaxed, but completely stressed out and I don't know. It was just, it wasn't what we wanted. But in conclusion, let's review the makeup very quickly because I feel like I've given my thoughts. I liked the Pixi Primer. I feel like it really did smooth out my skin. The Tinted Hydrator, it wore really, really well yesterday. I was very impressed with the coverage at the end of the day. I will say I feel like it's higher coverage than a typical like tinted moisturizer, if that's not something you're looking for. But it really does like sit on the skin well. Dose of Color Concealer, it's not the perfect shade for me, but I felt like it did a really nice job yesterday when I wore it, like it still looked good by the end of the day. Like I said, I feel like the Makeup Revolution concealer can work as a bronzer if you are able to find one in your shade. I just don't think this specific one is really a dupe for Charlotte Tilbury. I feel like it has the same glowiness, but not the same color, if that was what you were looking for. Laura Mercier powder, I still need to figure it out because I feel like it really turned me into like the Tin Man and that's not the vibe I was going for today. So 
I need to figure it out. Dominique Cosmetics Highlighter. It was okay. I don't know. I Again, I need to play with that one again. I didn't really notice anything special. I'm liking this Maybelline. I'm wondering how it will last since it's not waterproof. Florence by Mills is... Mm, it's like very, very like nourishing feeling. But like the thin kind of nourishing that I like from a lip oil. And then I really do feel happy with my choices I made with the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale. I feel like that was it. I feel like I rambled quite a bit about the vacation. I don't want to seem like I'm like complaining or anything. I just feel like when you go on a vacation, you want it to be a nice relaxing experience, especially it was our first time, just us and the baby on a vacation. And it just, it wasn't what we wanted. So it really was like a letdown and it it wasn't the, the way we wanted to end uh, Scott's paid parental leave. But yeah, that was it for this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Have you guys had nightmare disaster vacations as well? Because this is probably the worst I've had. Like I've stayed at places that weren't like the most amazing in the world, but like I can usually like stick it out. But I think this one with a baby, it just, it was too many things piling up. And I was like, no, I can't have her in this environment any longer. I gotta go. And also let me know if you guys have tried any of these products before. And if you had similar experiences to me or something different, or <laughs> have any of you guys tried the Laura Mercier powder? How am I supposed to use it? I'm pretty sure I used it wrong. Yeah, let me know in the comments. And as usual, thanks for stopping by my channel. If you're new here, click the subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications. I have my Twitter and my Instagram down below. Give them a follow and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.